spooky. We have the Scooby-Doo Awesome Haunted House. Look at that. Look at that. 177 pieces of Whoa. awesomeness. It is the haunted house that you recognize from the from Scooby-Doo. Look, some little danger windows and yes. an awesome Dracula. Who is it? Who's behind that mask? It's, it's old that. man Jenkins. <laughs> we want to say a great big thank you to Playmobil oh, yeah. for sending this to us to share with you um, just in time to yeah. the spooky season. So um, let's go ahead and take a look, show you the back. Okay, so looks like we're gonna have some little trap things, like where the little chandelier is gonna fall down. Some picture, hidden pictures. Looks like some things might even glow. We have spiders and webs, and Scooby Doo in his sleuth hat. We have Fred and we have Daphne, and um, shows also some other sets you can add to it. Very cool. Yeah, we have some cool sets. So, um, this is, is this all the different Scooby-Doo hats? I think hats Scooby can have. Oh, wow. Do they all come in this? I think so. That would be awesome. And don't look at who it is. It's a mystery. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so we're going to go ahead and get this awesome Scooby-Doo haunted house out of the box, show you all the pieces, and show you it all set up. Right? Yes. So who's going to build it? Me. <laughs> no, me. All right, so we'll be right back. Okay, and here we are, and it is so awesome. Our haunted house is all really cool. put together. I love the choice of colors, the bright green and uh, the purple and, like, the blue and the bluish purple. Mm -hmm. All just kind of goes together, and it's got that whole Scooby-Doo color yeah. scheme going on. Um, so I just wanted to show you the front of the house first, and then Beth we'll get like, into the... Look, it matches my dress. <laughs> I match. So I just wanted to show you the front of the house first. And let's see. Let's take a look at um, the upper level. Um, first of all, the build is super fun. Not for the faint of heart because it's got, <laughs> um, what was it, 77 pieces? And um, there's so much detail in this build that... Um, yeah, it looks like there's a lot to it. There's a lot to it. And it's um, laid out step by step. Um, and the pieces are all separate. Like, um, you know, there's a lot of separate pieces. You mm. have to build each, you know, window and whatnot. Wow. So it, but it really was a lot of fun. So the reason I put this together. Um, so you got the gargoyle guy out front here, hanging front with the little lantern hanging, and the little window hole in the back of there. You should, you'll probably be able to see it better from the other side. You also have these shutters, which um, are on these things, so you can kind of adjust them. And oh, make them spooky cool. however you want. Huh. It actually has a peg down here, too. So you could move it down here if you wanted to peg it from the bottom. And uh, so anyways, that adds to the creep factor of the house. They also have this um, tree, which you'll find out is just, it's more than a vine coming up the house uh -huh. on the other side. Um, and then you have the cool sloping thing here. You have the detailing across the top here, the top of the chimney over there. And then, let me see, up, 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 you have the... Um, what do you call that again? The weather, oh, yeah. weather vane, but it's like it looks like it's a dragon. Yeah, it's very, very cool. So, um, okay, coming down to this level, you I thought this was cool. They even add these posts and extra space here, um, as well as the keep out sign. Hopefully, you can see that the little broken wood, and there's one under there. Oh, they yeah. left no, you know, no spot is left untouched with oh, detail. Yeah. I mean, I like that. He's got even got like the little you right, know, front the little porch. lights. Yeah. And then the um, the door, which um, I just pushed it open, boop. Um, but it has lime green like uh, windows. Let's see if I can. Oh, anyway, I have to show it from the other side. But anyway, you just pop it open, and it looks super cool. Let's take a look inside. <laughs> <laughs> but I just think it looks really cool, and I would be, I'd have to toss a coin whether to display it this way or the other way. Oh, you yeah. know, you can always put your characters in the front there. So, all right, let's show off our characters. Okay. So we have... We got Fred. Fred! And even in the instructions, it tells you about Fred. A little, yeah, little bio. Like, told, yeah, it gives you like a whole bio on everybody. So Fred has his ascot and his... Do I have his collar on backwards? Perhaps. I'm not really sure. I don't think so. Okay. And then he... Um, there's another lantern for him to hold. It's just like that one up there. Um, so in case you want to take that off and have both of them holding lanterns, he's built like the other awesome Playmobil characters where he can sit down. He has these awesome gripping hands and um, 
Fred hair. <laughs> Fred, yeah. yellow Fred hair. He looks really cool with the brown eyes and blonde hair. Just like Fred. All right, and then we have... Daphne. Daphne! So she's really cute. She has, um, her skirt comes in two pieces, so when you put it together, it goes around there. And you add this scarf detailing. She's holding a flashlight, which, of course, you know, any of the characters can use. I like her eyebrows. <laughs> well, it makes her look very Daphne. You know what I'm saying? It just, yeah. it gives them character. So cool. She's got her headband on, and she is ready to go. She's wondering where Velma is. <laughs> All right, and then we have Scooby-Doo. There he is. So for this set, um, let me show you. This is a really cool feature. Scooby-Doo comes with, well, I don't know if it'll come out of there. Actually, this little black piece right here helps Scooby-Doo's ears fit into the hat. And each play set has a different hat. Oh, okay. So um, for this one, of course, he's going to have a sleuth hat. And then they have like a chef hat and everything for other um, sets. And then Scooby has this awesome little um, hand grip here that fits right into his front paws. Yeah, either front paw. And then it can grip onto like his um, yeah, magnifying glass so that he can... See, solve the mystery. Oh, very cool. He even has Scooby Doo tag. Oh, tag. SD. Nice. Yeah, very, very cool. So you put that on him as well. He can also open his mouth. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> and um, of course, he can be on all fours as well as stand up. So you can use his little stand. Yep, he actually comes with a stand. There you go. So. And you can stand him. I'll let you show off Dracula, Dracula while okay. I stand him up. All right, there he is, Dracula. He's got his. Blah, 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 blah. Blah. <laughs> and some ketchup. Yep, ketchup. Maybe that's He's ketchup like, in the glass. Haha, you only thought it was blood. Because <laughs> you know how Scooby Doo works. Right. He's not really a vampire. He's, He's Mr. Just Smithers. Some guy. <laughs> ah, you caught me. <laughs> and he would have gotten away if it wasn't for you meddling kids. So you can turn his face around. Very cool. You just pop off his hair. And you can have uh, whoever you want. You can have Dracula or, you know, or the, the mask. the caught guy. Yeah, that's cool. Like, oh, man. We'll show you some of the um, some of the things it comes with. Obviously, it comes with a little mouse. comes with a little cat. I believe it's already inside. comes with um, spiders that also clip onto the web, but also can be laid out. So there's a lot of versatility in that. comes with a trash can. Um, that you can Pretty have the trash. yeah the rat or whatever mouse coming out of. Um, it comes with plans, so like escape oh, out of the bottom of the car, go underground and come up into the store to rob it or whatever he, he's doing. Um, I think that was the thing. I think he robs a bank. I think. Oh, okay. It's a little bit of that. And then this one is um, gives a hint to one of the traps in the house. Oh, very cool. So I don't know if he built it or what. Yeah. And a hot dog on a stick. stick. <laughs> And then you have a pizza box, which unfortunately must have been there must have been there a while. It's only got the remnants in there, and I like how they age the pizza box. You put the sticker on the inside. Um, I think this one. No, no, you put both stickers on. So it does have some stickers to add details, um, but it tells you everywhere um, where to do it. Oh, what's in the suitcase? It's That's money. money. I believe there's other things hidden in the house when we turn it around that you'll be able to tell. But man, that's a lot of money in there. Oh, Whoa. That's why he was trying to rob the bank, I guess. And then it has these two things as well as a third that go in to this coffin, which plays sounds and lights up and shows it. And we'll be showing that towards the end. And then you have. And you have like a newspaper. The newspaper. Which is cool because it actually says the haunted house, house. and it's got the vampire on there and. Then, like on the inside, it's got like the bank, bank robber and the. Awesome. So, okay, and those are cool. stickers that you add to that. All right, so it's time to go inside our haunted house. So we're gonna go inside, and we'll show you all the traps. Okay, now we're inside. Oh, so we want to cool. show you um, some of the awesome uh, traps that are here. Um, let's start off with the stairs. So one of the things that shows is Fred going down the stairs. Where's Dracula? 
Dracula pulls the oh, secret see lever here. and <laughs> so Fred, the stairs go down, and Fred slides down the stairs. Or I guess if he goes to step off, and then he'll blah, no, yeah. slide down there. Yeah, just like that. So, and this is just like a little candelabra, which makes the stairs come in and out. That's it's cool. Super simple and super cool. All right, and so we also have another trap on this side of the house. Let me see if I can tilt it just a little bit. All right, so you see where this bookcase is right here. Yep, if, uh, if Fred's standing, well, I guess, yeah, Fred or Dracula or whoever, it's a secret compartment. He's like, I'm just checking out some books here. So if he reaches for a book, ah, then he goes through, and then he comes out. The other side, ah! Or, as it shows, <laughs> um, Dracula can be hiding in there. Oh, and okay. then come out the other side through, you know, that's how he secretly enters the house. So that's one of our traps. And then like this, see this little leaf goes back and forth. All right, so then we have, um... Like, Where's Shaggy and Scooby? They're normally <laughs> the ones that get stuck with all this stuff. That's right. So we have our little mouse. I'm going to put him over there. We have this cool little half table that you can um, play around with where you want that to go. A broken mirror because Dracula broke it. And a little kitty cat that's chasing the mouse. Um, also, okay, let's see. Daphne? Daphne! Okay, so if Daphne is standing here, and we, the little, the bush I showed you on the outside, da -da, okay, so tilt the little bush on the outside. Oh! Ah, and she falls through the trap door! So you see like that? Oh, Ta -da. Shoot. Did she go outside? <laughs> yeah, she goes oh, outside, she outside to the porch and uh, she's falling through the trap door. So if you notice when you push the bush like that, like the, the um, I don't know if that moved or not. I think the painting moves a yeah. little bit. Yeah. And uh, so that's really yeah, cool. And then we have the chandelier up here. Ta da! And let's do Scooby. Okay. And then you push the, uh, the little thing forward. Or did I say backward? Backward. And the chandelier. Oh! oh! <laughs> so the chandelier can actually release and fall. It has all of these little candles that you peg in, which is really cool. And it has this chain. And it, to just reattach it, you just boop, and it's reattached. Oh, and it's ready awesome. to go for the next one. All right, we have some beakers up there. We also have some pegs where some bats are hanging on the sides. Some little bats hanging, sleeping up here in the attic. And then we have this little ladder that goes up there, as well as dun, 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 Dracula's revolver. So he keeps it in that, keep it safe. It was Dracula with the revolver <laughs> in the attic. Yes! Okay, so I think I've gotten all, if you see the little detail right here with the little ghosty yeah, um, really cool. curtains are awesome. And, uh, and then we have some stickers on the side with some detailing. Um, down here, doo, doo, doo. we have a fireplace. Here's where you have the um, spider's web is attached, and you can attach the spiders, or you can leave the, you know, they just have little pegs where you can attach the spiders, uh -huh. which is awesome. They have this really cool clock. Oh, that is cool. Looking which clock. goes um, back here, and um, of course the door. Uh, and then we have one more. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and put Daphne down there by the fireplace. Looking at the footprints. Yeah, and then Dracula can be up here. Well, you know, we'll pretend it's him who did it. But anyway, if you up here, let me see if I can show you. Oop, there's a little silver grate that will cause. Uh, oh, so when you pull that, it releases. Oh, let's see what fell. It releases all the bones, little skeletons and <laughs> and other bones into the fireplace. Oh, and fish bones. Mm -hmm. To scare Daphne, that's one of the also, that's also cool. the other scares, to scare them out of his house, which is really cool. So in order to um, reload, you just take the top of the chimney off, put the grate back, and put your pieces back in here, and you're ready to go to scare the next person. So they make that super simple. And then with down here, we have the bearskin rug, and we have trapdoor. Go ahead and show us what's in there. 
Ooh, the gold! And the gold looks really cool. Look at that. Bars of gold. 999.9% gold. <laughs> the other percent, Scooby Snack. So and it's cool because like even the little sticker underneath there looks like the dirt under the Yeah, house. it does. It does. And that yeah, that is a sticker that you put in um, close to the beginning of the building. And um, I think it's really cool that they have that bearskin rug. Yep, okay. so that way you can cover it up and you don't even know it's there. Right. So another awesome feature is the coffin I was talking about. It has these little of course, the other playsets come with this too, I think, to shine the, these, you know, the characters came with these. Remember the monsters that right. we opened? So you put one of, this is showing the bearskin uh, where the treasure is hidden. And then you put that inside here, turn it on, and then, there we go. So you can see that it shows the bearskin rug and the thing in there. Oh, okay. You can also trade it out. Aha! And you have Dracula! So if they're upside down, you just need to pay attention to um, how you put your stickers on. And uh, hopefully you're getting a good, a good look at that. So this is how they're viewing it. Not only that, but we have sounds. So we have... <laughs> like sneaking. <laughs> and running. <laughs> We have the Howling of the Moon. You see that one? Oh, no, oh that's second. cool. Okay, so that was the Howling of the Moon. On this side, we have a Ghosty. So you can make all the awesome noises. Knocking on the door. <gasps> Opening the door. Oh, witchy oh. laugh. And the crows. Isn't that awesome? That is really cool. So it has the on-off switch, and then it has all the sounds that you can have in there as well. So, oh, there's so many opportunities yeah. that you can do with this. So many ways to keep playing. And I don't know if, um, I don't know, I know we've done, we've collected several of the, um... Monsters. The monsters. Yeah. And each of those comes with, the, like, where that one came with the Dracula one, each one comes with... Right. Thing. So now you can actually go back and look at all the right. ghosts that you've got. We will have to go back and get our monster things and build our own awesome story. All right, so the last thing we want to show you is something where you take the floor out up here, take your little ladder down, tuck it right here. It'll tell you to do this in the app. So you can download the app from the app store. It shows you right in the instructions. How to, do you know the name of the app? Is it Scooby-Doo, Playmobil, Scooby-Doo? Yeah, just look for a Playmobil app, and then there's there's several apps. Um, and then if you look for the one that has Scooby-Doo on it. All right, and then you attach, they give you this clear piece. It attaches right under here. Ta-da! And it, it's not level, it, it hangs down a little bit so that um, your characters can see. And then I think, all right, so now it's showtime. So All here's right. the different ones. So you got like a ghost hand, some spiders, candles. This is like a foggy, like lightning storm, like a floating, floating skull, book. like floating book, monster eyes, ghosty, the ghost, oh, man, what? some like ghostly bats. It looks like flying pizza. I guess it is bats. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna show you the ghost. So you put the ghost on your phone. Put your phone down. Put the ghost on your phone, put a phone down there, turn off the lights. Okay, so this has been a lot of fun from the open to the build to the play factor. It just looks awesome. Yeah, there is there is just so much to this. This is really awesome. Really, really cool. And we just tip of the iceberg, but we wanted to show you all that it could do. We want to say another great big humongous thank you to Playmobil for sending this to us to share with you for free. It sure is one awesome haunted house place. It play really set. is. And the fact that it's Scooby Doo just adds to it. So thank you so much for watching. As always, come back and see us. Subscribe, like, and we will see you next time.